In the previous video, we talked about the basics of the focus exercise. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can extrapolate it into a real world situation. So once we practice it in the house where the dog really can, every time we practice it, the dog's looking us in the face, you should also test her when she's out walking around next to you and nothing's going on, just say focus. She should sit down and look up at you. Mm -hmm. And then make sure you have a treat and you reward her for doing that when mm. you do it each time. So we want to make sure every time she gets that treat, she's about to fall asleep right now. Um, so then what we want to do is you have a backyard that's fenced in. You want to start practicing it outside. Now outside there's a whole bunch of different distractions. Yeah. So if she moves around too much and she can't just sit there, then maybe get her some exercise first, give her a recovery period, then take mm -hmm. her outside when we've taken that edge off. You might have to use a leash and put the leash underneath your knee so she can't move around. Just don't keep it too tight. But after you've practiced this enough in the house, when you do it outside, you should be able to get her to come over and sit down. Probably and after a week. Uh, it depends how many times you practice it. I would like to see you practicing this uh, in the previous video, the stuff inside. I'd like you to practice that five or more times a day. And again, each practice session. For two minutes. For one to two minutes. Yes. And, and eventually, so if you go outside and you call her, she should come to you? She, yeah, well, yeah, we say focus. She should. Now, we, we don't need to use this to call her to come to us. We're going to oh. use this while we're on the leash. We I want her just to sit down and look up at us. So, like, if she sees a dog. Yeah, and that's what we're going to get to. So uh, we want to practice it outside your backyard so there are no dogs, and preferably without a lot of construction or craziness going on in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. After a while, then we well, can gradually do it. Come to us if we're outside. And I because can't... we practice it inside. I see. And so she's gotten used to it. If I sit right in front of the human and look in the face, they give me treats. If mm -hmm. I go over the fence, nothing right. happens. So she's more motivated. That's why we do it gradually, and we add in the distractions mm -hmm. that I talked about in the other video, mm -hmm. the volume. So then what we want to start doing is once she can focus very well outside in your backyard mm -hmm. without a leash, then when you're out walking her and there's no other dogs around, in between every driveway that you pass, I would stop and say focus. Mm -hmm. And then she has to sit down and look at you, do the focus exercise, and keep on walking. Now remember, by the time you're doing it outside, you should be doing focus or you should go in one step, focus. Because what we're going to do is actually eventually ask her to sit and look at us while another dog is passing. That dog's not going to pass in a second. That's when we want to work up to about 10 or 20 seconds on mm. that second step. How long does that take? Here. It'll take, it depends on how much you practice. If you practice it five or more times a day, by the end of the week, you should be ready to go outside and have good results. Mm. Then I practice it's it a couple of days. It's, it's difficult now when you walk her, you mean? Yeah. And we'll talk Everything about that. Everything distracts video, her. I want to keep this video yeah. relatively short, otherwise I get too long to, for me to upload. So the idea is once we're, where you're out to walk and there are no other dogs around, you practice it inside, you practice outside, then in between every driveway you stop, tell her to focus, she sits down and looks at you, and you give her the treat. I'd like you to do that for a couple days to a, uh, uh, a, couple days to a week. Okay. Then what I want you to do is as you're walking, um, after that second week when you, we've been doing it outside, then after, as you're walking and she's in the heel position, have pull out your treat, and just say focus and have her walk with you while she's looking up at you. You're holding the treat here as you're walking, mm. and then you give her the treat. Mm. So eventually she gets, what we're doing is we're establishing mm. muscle memory in all these different variables. Mm -hmm. First of all, just so I know to do the exercise, do I'm sitting, mm -hmm. and then eventually where I can be walking. So what will happen is you're walking, she's walking down the street looking up at you and there's another dog walking by here, mm -hmm. and she's like, I can't pay attention to you, I got treats coming. Mm -hmm. So oh. this, uh, so it'll take a little bit of time. This should be about probably two or three weeks before you're really ready to start pr trying around other dogs. Yeah. Now it's gonna be more effective if the other dog's at a distance. So you might want to do the first couple times when, you know, maybe if a dog's walking down your side of the street and you want to practice this, go across the street when the dog is still two or three houses away, and then practice it with the street between you. Mm -hmm. um, and then gradually we want to do it where the dog's closer and closer. Maybe you go to a park or a p place where you can walk along a path where people mm -hmm. are jogging with their dogs, but you can mm -hmm. be about 10 feet away. So it makes it easier. The closer that the dog is, the more intense mm -hmm. uh, the proximity is going to make it for your for uh, cashew. Mm -hmm. So if we practice this uh, enough, in stages, make it more gradually, more challenging. Eventually, you can be while walking, every time she, you know, you see another dog, you say, focus, she looks up at you, dogs only focus on one thing at a time, so now she's focused to you, she's paying no attention to the other dog. This is the second stage of how we teach our dog to focus.